What's cracking guys? Omar Yusuf here, back with another video. This is the first official video I'm filming in 2018. So first, I just want to say Happy New Year's to everyone out there. May 2018 be the year of gains for you. There's a lot of cool things going on. I feel honestly awesome. Recharge from a week, a staycation, just sitting around, eating a whole lot of food, trimming this shit stash a little bit. I'm still keeping it. Why? Well, until we hit a million downloads on my upcoming podcast, Mama's Boys, with my boy Sam Mike. Launching in two days. I'm keeping this. Got a program going on with Borshako. Two of them dropping again in just a few short days. A trip to New York, some big collabs. Maybe there's going to be a curve Kernerty up in the house. You're a w Wizard Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. Amazing. There's a lot of really, really cool things going on. So I'm stoked. I'm excited. Consider this a bench video, even though I'm not on a bench. What's a bench video? For those that don't know, it's where I sit down on a beautiful bench at somewhere scenic and I talk about things that are on my mind. Well, consider this an unofficial bench video. I'm sitting on a stool. It might be a meager stool. But this tool's got attitude, and this video's gonna be a little bit spicy. I wanna talk about the lifting community, a few things I don't like. And before I go on, trust me, I don't mean to be a complainer because I think overall the lifting community is kicking ass and taking names. If we compare it to a few years ago, I think it's a whole lot better. You only need to look at flexible dieting that came about, which showed that people don't have to be needlessly restrictive when it comes to eating in order to get into great shape. Uh, when it comes to strength training, there's a lot of people putting out fantastic content. You got Sal Mike, you got Alan Thrall, you got Brian Alzru, you got Mark Bell, you got Johnny Candido. The burrito is back making content on YouTube. Come on, people. So I think there's a lot of cool things going on a lot of people putting out great information looking at the average bro from five years ago just going to a commercial gym for myself and seeing someone lift that wants a squat bench and deadlift I think the overall technique of the gym bro has improved as a direct result of what the fitness community on average has been doing so I think that's awesome I need to say that before I go on but I think we can be better I think we can all be better I can be better I could be better for you. And here's what I mean. I released a few videos uh, over the last few days. There was one with the legendary powerlifting coach, Boris Shako, talking about the sumo deadlift. There were two videos featuring the 11 time world record holder, Steffi Cohen, when it comes to her deadlift, her technique, and also a bio honor. And again, for the most part, the comments were super positive. I thought they were awesome. I think, you know, on another channel, I gotta shout out the Rascals, maybe there would have been a few more negative comments. Why? Well, in the first place, the sumo delf is kind of a spicy topic, and I'm gonna get into that, as well as females potentially lifting heavy weight. So, I wanna get into those two topics, kind of unpack those a little bit, and why I think it's important to share your opinion. Your opinion is always valued here, but I think Louis Simmons said something cool when he said, my morals are my morals and your morals are your morals. Meaning that you might play under a certain set of rules and I might play under a different set of rules and you have to respect both of them. Of course, as long as it's not harming anyone and no one's being harmed in this video or what I'm talking about, then I think it's totally fine. Let's unpack this a little bit. In the first place, let's talk about legendary powerlifting coach, Boris Shako. So he shared some insight when it comes to the sumo deadlift, why he thinks it's a valid movement, why he thinks it should be included in powerlifting, why it has been included, giving a few different logical explanations why it's not any uh, more unfair than a couple other different things like the arch on the bench press. He gave his insights. This is a guy that's coached people for 30, 40 years at the highest levels. He's trained 11 world champions. I think he's accumulated over 40 total world medals with athletes over that 30 year career. He's just insanely respected. And again, nine 98% of the comments were positive, but some of them, and th this is probably because, you know, 60 or 65 percent I think of total viewer, viewers are subscribers and then 35 40 percent are people outside of this community there were some comments like what does this old dude think he's talking about he doesn't know a damn thing I'm like this old dude you mean Boris Shako legendary powerlifting coach guy that coaches people at the highest level uh, there were some comments I deleted a few of them uh, that were just kind of rude towards Boris just because he was talking about the sumo Dela. and trust me I'm not trying to police the comment section at all I'm just saying as a community we could be a hell of a lot better. This is a guy talking about sport he's passionate about. He's talking about a movement that within the rule books, no federation doesn't allow it. 
and he's just sharing his opinion. He's not telling you, you know, people, uh, by the way they're reacting, you would think they were talking about their mamas. People were mad. Some people were mad. Again, 98 versus 2% or maybe 95 versus 5%. But then I saw one of my buddies linked and I saw that on Reddit Powerlift thing, they had shared the same Boris Shako interview and I read the comments and wouldn't you know it, everyone in that community were super positive. They're like, oh, Boris Shako, legendary coach. I wonder what he's saying. Oh, the sumo delve. I think that's pretty cool. And that's granted uh, a more niche category of people, people that are doing parallel things, but they're all positive. I'm like, why can't we be like this? Why can't the fitness community by and large be like this? And I'm sure you know there's debates within that community just like everything else. But within that video's comments on that subreddit, people were being encouraging or they were having an open debate about things, a logical debate. They weren't resorting to name calling when it comes to a legendary powerlifting coach. Like, fuck this old dude. I'm like, this old dude. I'm like, wait a second. This guy has a valid opinion. And I think if we're talking at each other rather than with each other, you know, you might have that opinion that you feel that the sumo delf is not a valid movement. I can dig it. Look, brother. I do the conventional deadlift, I do the high bar squats, I do also a bench press with pretty much no arch, which around here amongst lifting purists, that's pretty much the way to go. But I respect all different types of deadlifts, even my boy, let's say uh, uh, Alpha Destiny, doing that Jefferson deadlift, I think that's a pretty cool deadlift. So I accept all deadlifts, all deadlifts to me are beautiful. The sumo deadlift, I definitely think has a place and I could see all sides. So I welcome people saying, well, you know, we could take a look at the physics, this and that. My boy Greg Knuckles has had a fantastic article breaking down the sumo deadlift versus the conventional deadlift, which I think people should read if they're interested in that sort of thing. I welcome a debate, I welcome people talking about things in a constructive way. And so I'm gonna kind of go off on a side tangent here. Steffi Cohen was on the channel, and I think she did a really good job explaining what motivates her, her sumo delf technique, and again, 95% of people were positive. But some people, when I said, yeah, she holds records and she talks about it in the untested parallel thing federations, they were like, well, wait, wait a second here. This person's like pulling sumo delfs and, you know, is on all these roids and they're setting records. Anyone can do that. I'm like, wait a second. I clicked the link on some of these comments and some of these people that left these comments and these are the exact same people that are also subscribed they love like Yuri Belkin and so Yuri Belkin's also another sumo deadlifter that is that competes in untested so they're pretty much the same besides their gender they're competing at the highest level why are you loving one person so Yuri Belkin you're like oh this guy's incredible he's so heroic he's so strong and then this woman that's basically doing the exact same thing when it comes to female power I think people are getting a little bit butthurt could it be that as bros, which is sometimes the case, we have fragile egos and the thought of a female lifting more than us just simply shatters our soul and will not do? Maybe, potentially. Look, I'm all for people giving constructive feedback. Please, if you want to talk shit about me, I actually love it. I enjoy reading it. If you want to talk about my calves, go ahead, my man. But provide constructive criticism for those that maybe their ego might just be a little bit bruised when they see someone else lifting more weight than them and they're doing it with a sumo deadlift. You know what, bro? Try out the sumo deadlift for yourself. Or maybe a female's lifting more weight than you? Well, perhaps consider you should get stronger. You need to 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 get stronger. Don't let your ego get so affected by what someone else is doing. And that's what I mean when I say what Louis Simmons was saying. My morals are my morals. Your morals are your morals. And again, we could talk about the whole steroid debate. I think, again, if people are open and transparent, that's something I've been very passionate about on this channel. I couldn't give two tugs of a dead dog's cock what you do. If you do steroids and you're competing in untested, like strongman, they don't test for that, I think that's awesome. I want to see the freaks lift. At the same time, if you lift in a tested federation, so let's say you lift in the IPF and you use, I don't think that's cool. I think there's space for both of these things to exist. There could be mutual respect amongst lifters. And that's what I mean when I say bringing up, building up the lifting community, people getting along, respecting what other people do. All right, you might think the sumo model sucks. I can dig it, bro, but that doesn't mean you have to shit on someone else. Oh, someone competes untested. Well, again, just because you compete untested doesn't mean you have to talk shit about them. What I found especially interesting, and from a psychological perspective, it would be kind of interesting to unpack this. Some of the people that are hating on an individual being untested and potentially using steroids, again, they're 
in a federation that allows them to use steroids and they're mad about that for some reason and yet these same people are subscribed to individuals where let's face it bro they claim natural for youtube but we know what that means and they're definitely enhanced they're like well this person you know I, I think he's natural i'm like no you're fooling yourself that person is definitely on steroids lying about it and then selling programs i respect much more the person that's transparent open about what they're using and saying hey yeah you know what i do this i'm not saying you get the results i can get but from my years of lifting i have a lot of insight into teaching into coaching people i think i have value so i don't like people that are dishonest i don't like lying to myself i also don't like when people just disrespect someone else for no good reason. I think open debate is important. I think people being allowed to say, fuck your calves, is super important. But when we come across as just crusty dudes, just, you know, getting salty, uh, I think we could be a little bit better about that. And the final thing I was going to say to add to that, New Year's resolutions. I see a lot of people, it's kind of the in thing in the fitness community to be like, oh, here comes the resolutioners. Here comes the people, you know, trying to make a positive change in their life. Fuck them. They're going to be out of this gym within three weeks. And maybe you're right. I get it. They're choosing some arbitrary date, January 1st, in order to try and transform their body. And I say, so what? I say, you know what? Good for them. To their benefit, I hope they succeed. Actually, no, again, keep in mind, I was a personal trainer for several years. I coach hundreds of people. I've seen transformations of people just starting on New Year's, trying to make a difference with their body, trying to make a positive impact, and that just snowballs over time. I've seen people lose 80 pounds, 100 pounds. Starting on January 1st, the journey might take them two years. There might be a lot of road bumps along the way, but they make some gains, they make some change, and they get the results that they're after. So again, just because someone trying to make a positive change they're posting on social media and i get it new year new me uh, i think that just rain uh skit is really funny trust me new year new me shut the hell your mouth you're gonna be a fucking fat asshole forever uh but i think we should be more encouraging i'm like man you want to make some change go ahead i support it i think we should lift each other up build each other up buttercup so a few things i just wanted to talk about i'm feeling positive overall the stronger i get the more i realize the strength is truly trying to help other people get stronger not just about yourself that's all i really wanted to say expect a hell of a lot more videos on this channel moving forward in 2018 we had all those big projects we got the whole podcast we're here to take over with the mama's boys podcast myself and Sam mike dropping i'm keeping the shit stash i'm gonna you know, trim it, style a little bit until we get a million downloads. Got that program with Boris Shaco dropping two programs in just a few short days. Stay tuned. I have to say, I love the lifting community. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, if you, you know, thought to yourself, huh, at any point during the video, maybe he brings some points. Fuck his cast, but he brings some good points. Feel free, like the damn video, show your support, and I'll see all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.